Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today, I am starting my brand new playthrough for Roots of Pacha, the full release. This is a brand new journey, a new adventure in this wonderful prehistoric farm RPG set in the Stone Ages. I love this game and I am super excited to start a brand new playthrough. You have probably seen a few videos already on the channel where I showcased a few different seasons and celebrating the full release of the game, but that wasn't my save file, that was one that I got given to me in order to showcase that kind of content. The save file was quite advanced and there was a lot of things unlocked and it wasn't basically unlocked by me, so I'm super excited to start from the very beginning, the first day of spring, and let's just see how wonderful Wonderful this game truly is playing the whole way through so let's start a brand new character I'm not sure how many episodes this is gonna be I don't know how long the series is going to be it's probably gonna be one or two episodes every single week and if you guys really want to see it just let me know smash that like button and get involved in the comments the more you show love on this the more I'll do you know so this character here looks kind of cool already look at that let's get a character set up right away we're gonna go with Sharky we can randomize a little bit uh, until we get kind of a good default the customization is really good in this game. And there we go, that is the character. It's quite similar to what I had on the other three videos that I did. But I kind of like this hairstyle. Uh, it looks very, very, you know, caveman-like. I kind of like it. Changed the outfit this time as well. So let's go into the game and let's play. Roots of Patcher full release from day one. This is so exciting. So we are starting in New Year's Eve. Our first winter in this land is almost over. Uh, the clan is coming back home from the mountaintop. I love that. Oh, look at this. And here we are. I bet we are freezing. <laughs> We've not got the right outfit for this. <laughs> Damn it. So I am going to be terrible at pronouncing these names, but you know what? I'm just going to go with whatever comes to my mind. So I'm sorry if I butcher them, but <laughs> it's all I can do. So this is Igrok. Where does the time go? It's hard to believe your rite of passage is so soon. Still feels like we found you only yesterday. I bet you'll have the coolest totem of everyone. I can sense there's something different about you even right now. I don't want the winter festival to be over. I'm not ready to go to bed. One more story, please. All right, just one more. Tell the story of how we got here. I like the way you tell it. Back when the summer sun still warmed our skin, it was time to pick the day for the rite of passage. Uh, Vuak, our great shaman, asked the spirits and got a strange answer. You must move, they demanded. No normal person should ever question the spirits, but our Vuak is no normal person. Why, he asked. You need to find a tree far to the east, the spirit said. Only danger awaits you there. But we didn't know of any patch of trees to the east. This gave our leader a difficult dilemma. Do we travel into unknown lands? or risk disobeying the spirits. But there was one thing he could always depend on. The clan! We packed up everything and walked. We walked and walked. Soon the leaves began changing colours and we still hadn't found a tree. Cold and tired, we travelled through the savannah, unsure how much further we could walk. Our shaman is strong, but not infallible. Could he have made a mistake? As we were making camp. Uh oh. The earth shook. The kids are loving this story. The ground groaned a terrible sound as the trees threatened to topple. There was no doubt this was a powerful sign. But for what? The way we had come was blocked and winter was too close to go back. And then the clan did what he did best. We worked together. Some built our homes while others gathered food for the winter. Vuak walked away from the group, noticing his absence. Sharky followed him into a nearby forest. Let's go! <laughs> Our shaman was distraught. How could he make everyone leave their homes, only to be trapped in a strange land? But then, they saw it. <gasps> the tree! Oh wow, look at this! Oh, I love that he zooms out. We were home. Love that. Roots of Pacha, what an introduction. Let's go. And that is where our story begins, guys. Here we are, waking up from a good nap. Good, you're up. It's finally spring. 
Oh, we've got a lot of work to do. Look at this. I know it's a different idea, but I think it'll work. We could grow food from wild seeds right here, in these fields. I wish I could be out here with you, but my bones aren't what they used to be. I'm sure you'll find a way to help, Igrok. You always do. Thanks, sister. Oh, so Miri is Igrok's sister. I think so too. Brother and sister, okay. And here we go, guys. This is the very beginning. We are walking around Rusapacha. Oh, picked our first herb here. Oregano. <laughs> That's how I pronounce it. <laughs> we can find some seeds here as well. Carrot seeds. You discovered our first crop, the carrot. So if you didn't know how this game works, basically you have to discover and find crops in order to obtain their seeds and then you plant them. And the more you plant and gain the knowledge of those seeds and crops, you advance them. You get experienced with them, you learn about them, you'll find out when you can plant them, etc. So it's all about developing the seeds. And you can actually find that here. So as you can see, the only one we've got right now is carrot seeds and we need to gain more knowledge about this plant if you want to find out more. So right now our knowledge is one. I think this goes up to five and there's quite a lot of crops and seeds. So you can change our outfit, you can get rid of your shoes, you can wear hats as well, everybody starts with a coconut hat. And you can actually wear like uh, accessories as well and these will give you buffs. This is our belt, we've only got one row right now, kind of like a backpack, uh, we need to unlock this the further we go. We also do get a tool bag as well, this is separate to your main inventory bag so you don't have to worry about your tools taking up all the space which is amazing. So you can discover lots of pets, mounts, animals which you can tame and farm and stuff like that. These are all the patchings, all the people, there is different clans as well later on in the game. And this is where you can find the people you want to romance, which is a thing in this game, and have kids and stuff like that. So as you can see here, if you click on Igrok, you can go into the relationships, and um, we are the adopted grandchild, and then the sibling here, as we just uh, figured out. Uh, yeah, brother and sister. So that was basically the little... I had to run that down there, because I know it can get confusing for a few people. But there we go, you've seen the introduction. Right now, we've just got to clear a bit of space, okay? We've got a few carrot seeds. That should get me started, I think. And then we can go and forage and find more. We need to speak to the clan and, you know, get to know the people. And eventually, we can grow our own family. That's what this is all about, right? Expanding the clan. So I do have stamina energy, so I'm not going to be able to do super much in one day uh, unless I eat. I know that eating is quite a big thing in this game as well. Right, I think that space might do just for now. Obviously, we are getting resources as well. So if I go into my seed bag, uh, well actually not yet, we need to till some soil. How many seeds do we have? Is it just two? Yeah, that's not a lot. Uh, and we do have a water skin as well, which can fill up with water. Uh, and there we go. We can upgrade all of our tools eventually when we gain more knowledge and build up the relationships with the clan. And then eventually they will help us out as well. So right now, have we got any tasks that we need to do? Uh, find wild seeds, plant and care for them. So we need to harvest four crops of our first task. And then we need to go and to uh, attend our rites of passage tomorrow. And we've got to meet all of the clan. We've got to talk to 27 people, guys. So let's not mess around, eh? When you click on someone, uh, your adopted grandparent with a great sense of humor. You already sowed some seeds. I wonder if there are more around here. I will go and find some, Grandpa. Uh, and then we also know about this as well. Mary, we know about you. I offered a flower like this one for my rite of passage so long ago. Ooh, we got a gift. Tomorrow is going to be special. I can feel it. We got, uh, what is that? A Datura flower. All right, let's do some forage. Oh, there's another one here as well that we've just picked up. That's two of those now. Let's go and speak to some people and do some foraging as well. Now, another thing you need to know about this game, if you didn't already, you don't get money. It's not currency. You know, this game's not modern. You don't go and sell things to a shop and purchase things from a grocery store. It's uh, your currency in this game is called contribution points at the top right here. And you are contributing to your clan. And this is the box. So whatever we put in here is basically split and shared between everybody. And then you'll get given contribution points, which can obviously be spent on uh, developing, you know, your, your farm, the clan, the actual village, you know, getting buildings and things that's going to be handy and helpful for us. So we've got somebody here that we need to talk to. So this is Tay, the partner of the clan's leader. So the clan's leader is Jin, uh, who put together... Who puts together all the festivals. So Jin and Tay are a couple. 
They've got two children, Mana and Nock. Yeah, and Jin is the leader, clan's leader. So here she is. There's so much to do. We'll need lots of contributions if we're going to prosper in the new land. Just as I was talking about the contributions there. If you could contribute three different items, that would help a lot. I basically think we've already done that. We've got four in there. Or is it three different? So let's go and find something else. We'll do a bit of foraging. It's already... So right now, we actually don't know time in this game. You have to develop it as an idea. So eventually we'll know time and we'll learn about it so we know exactly <laughs> what time of day is. Right now, I don't have a clue. We've kind of just got to play the game blind. We've got a little river here. We can do some fishing. There's actually someone fishing right there as well. There's a few people here. Let's go and speak to them. So this is Fura, the clan's fisher. He carries on his family's legacy. Uh, and his grandparents is Teti, who we spoke to earlier on. The one who's telling the story. When I get nervous, I fish. But I don't need this many. Yay, we've got to give him one. Nice. It's so nice being in the clan, right? If you're nervous, you can try fishing too. And then we've got somebody else here as well. This is Ilo, an apprentice healer who's always busy helping the clan in one way or another. So your parent is Grob, your dad, your stepmom is Dari, and you've got two half siblings, Vor and Bra. It's been a while since I fished with Fur. It's pretty fun. But he might catch every fish in this in this river before tomorrow. Is there anything on the beach or there we go, we can get a seashell, nice. We'll contribute that later on. We do need as much contribution points as possible if we want to develop things and build things. But look how big our land is. We do have a map here, which is very, very handy. You can see all the people as well, the locations. You can actually change region. So you can actually look at the forest map, which we will go and have a little look in there later on. Is it getting dark? I can't tell. So let's go south. I can't even go south. It's so built up down here. Let's have a look around this way. I want to find more seeds. That's what I want to do. Alright, what's... Oh, okay, we've got somebody here working away. Are you like the woodsman? The clan's builder. Like his partner, Acre, he prefers to stay busy. So this is Kroll. So Kroll and Acre are partners, and they basically are workers. The builders. They've got three children. Gelrod, Ivan, and Aether. Here he is. The kids are all concerned about the rite of passage. I'm just concerned that they do their chores. <laughs> Such a dad. Is there anything that we can forage down here? This place is huge. Get a good star, a good bit of land here. Oh, we got some flowers here. What are these? Citronella. Okay. Now, if I'm right, they are actually very good flea repellents. Fleas or nits. They don't like those smell, right? It actually says that, look, they're right there. A citrusy scent that fleas would rather avoid. Now, that is a very strong smell. My daughters have some kind of, like, detangle conditioner spray that they use in the hair. I have to brush it every morning, you know, for school. And it actually has citronella in it, and it's so strong. <laughs> but it stops them getting nits. We don't want that. Okay, Voda. A tracker who joined the clan on our journey here. Ooh. I don't think I've ever spoke to Voda before. I wonder what else we can find once we're unstuck. Now, is Voda someone that we can potentially marry? Let's find out, guys. I need to know. No, she's not. She's just on her own, though. She doesn't have, like, a family family. Oh, look, there's one of the wolves here. So I believe this wolf belongs to somebody, which hopefully we can go and speak to soon because I love the character. Right now, just having a look around, foraging. Is there anything else we can find? I think this goes to the beach. Yeah, just down here. We can eventually go to the beach, but this is this is Jag. Vowak doesn't need my help, so I've been trying to get those rocks cleared. I'm needed here, but let me know if the fire starts to die down. So I think this guy um, tends to the fire. But look, the beach is blocked right now. We can't get there just yet, but we will eventually. Let's go into the main center part of the clan and see who's uh, around. Someone that we've not spoke to just yet. Oh, here we go. It's popping off now, guys. So this is Ivan. We've actually spoke to Kroll, her dad. Uh, and she is someone you can romance in the game. And you can uh, obviously marry the same gender as well, so you don't have to worry about that. I don't want to copy Gelrod's offering, but nothing else fits. And who are you? Yuck. A clothing maker who helps his mum. Hizu. Dress the clan. Oh, so this is the character with the wolves. Oka and Hizu. Uh, they are a couple, and this is their child. I have to figure out what I'm going to wear to the ceremony. Probably this. <laughs> okay, we've got Dari. 
your partner is yeah so uh, Dari and Grub are partners yep I don't see why Grub can't take a break from clearing that wood I'm sure Vuak could uh, use his help this is Jelrod Kroll and Aker's uh, son for my rite of passage I offered my first instrument it was hard to choose with my many talents oh, oh god he reminds me of Elliot in Stardew Valley he's full of himself so this is Mana I'm all for hard work, but Nock already made a dish. I don't know why he's still inside cooking. So someone else we can potentially marry? Mary actually can have a good sense of the weather. She kind of gets a feel of nature. She knows when rain's coming. So let's see what she says. My right knee hurts. That always means rain is nearby. But my nose is not picking up any dense air. Okay, so rain is nearby apparently. Okay, we've got uh, some citronella. For now, I'll probably contribute this. I know it's probably worth keeping hold of everything, because you never know when you need it in this game, right? But right now, it's all about just contributing, getting as much of those points as possible. I don't think it's getting dark. I think we're okay. We've still got a bit of time. Let's have a good forage around in this area and see if we can find anything else. Okay, we've got some children playing up here near the water. I hope they're being safe. So we've got Vor. I can't wait for the rites of passage. I bet Tara's going to make sweets. <laughs> Ata, I don't see why I can't have my rite of passage with you. I do a lot of work around here. And brah, how cool is that? Your rite of passage is at the biggest patch tree I've ever seen. Kids are kids. Ooh, what building is this? Oh, there's another wolf here, look. That's two, I believe there's three in total. We've got a few people here. So this is Garrick, the thinker of the clan. He's usually contemplating how things work. Garrick. Uh, Igorok asked me to help find seeds for his, uh, the fields. To think these tiny almost rocks will grow into plants. Oh, yes, we've got four more carrot seeds, guys. That's what we needed. Vuak claims he doesn't need help today. That's a lot of heavy stuff we're going to have to move in the morning. You're chilling with Voda? Oh, what's this? Is this another wolf? Yay! Okay, so four more seeds is good. It's going to help me out a lot. Especially because we need to do the quest where I need to harvest for. Oh, here's Oka. She is so cool. The wolves can pick up on everyone's excitement. I bet they'd love it if you gave them a treat. Oh, we need to go give one a treat, guys. Red meat. Oh, let's go. Is anyone else here that we've not spoke to yet? Uh, Hizu... It's hard to believe Yuk uh, had his right of passage over two springs ago. Where does the time go? Oh, we can exchange. Look at this. So this is where we can upgrade our belts, guys. We can get the bigger belt. We need 500 contribution points. Right now, we start with zero. We can get uh, clothing as well. Look at this. We get a fluffy collar. Hard rock. So this is like the clothing lady. Oh, you get the little hats. Tomato hat, straw hat. Oh, I really want that. I really want that. Oh, the wolf ones as well. Oh, they look so good. Okay, we're going to be speaking to this person quite a lot. I can never decide myself. Right, anyone else that we've not spoke to around here? I don't think so. So maybe let's go and give the wolf a meat. We'll choose one of the wolves. Give them a treat. And then we'll go and plant our carrot seeds. Oh, the painter. Reese. Reese and Ron are partners. The clan's artist. She loves kids even though she doesn't have any of her own. Oh, here she is. I think she's such a cool character. So pretty as well. I love the portrait design. Sadly, we can't actually romance her though. But I do like the looks of Reese. Uh, Ron loves playing bones, even though Teddy crushes him every time. <laughs> you should go try. I heard Teddy is giving a stone box to anyone who can beat her challenge. Ooh, all right. That's a storage box, right? Oh, here we go. Look at this, guys. Not only have we got two new people that we can speak to, we've got some tomato plants here. So this is Ada, the clan's healer. So she's all about, you know, she's very spiritual and she loves nature. She keeps a medicine box stocked with herbs. Um, and your brother is Vuak, which everybody's talking about. Igorok told me about his plan for the fields. I gathered some from these plants. <gasps> oh, okay, new tomato seeds. Have fun in the fields. But look, we can actually get some ourselves as well. So, like I said, we're only getting seeds right now. You have to plant them and develop the crop yourself. This is Ron that we spoke to. Well, we spoke to his partner, Reese. So, the one who collected water for the clan. There isn't much for him to do here between two rivers. Ah, so he used to collect the water. I don't want to call Teti a cheater, but that old woman moves too fast for her age. <laughs> here she is, the clan storyteller and gossip. 
Want to try your hands at uh, bones? Yeah, let's do it. Just toss the rock and pick up the bones before it falls. See if you can get eight. I've never done this. Right, throw a stone. Uh. Okay. I get it, I get it. So as you throw the stone, before it lands, you've got to collect all of these ones. Ooh. Oh, that's close. Let's go, let's go. Oh, I guess harder. Oh, just. This is getting hard. Oh! Can I get to 20, guys? Can I get to 20? Oh! I'm not doing this. There's no way I'm doing this. Oh! That was so close. Okay, I'm sure you can put this box to good use. We did very well, and we got our first storage box, which is amazing, because we do need a lot of storage. It's gonna be uh, important. There's a lot of things in this game, so that's gonna be super handy. Thank you very much, Teddy. Probably said your name wrong, but I don't care. That's your new name now. Get used to it. <laughs> Tatia? It's probably Tatia, right? We need to, we've got a few seeds now that we can uh, actually plant, so let's go ahead and do that. There's a mess down here, though. So right now, we're actually sleeping in our, like, adopted grandpa's house. We've got our own bed, but eventually we can build our own, which is very good and exciting. We need to be doing that. So let's go and put on our hand axe. How many seeds do we have? We've got a few here. So let's go. We've got some carrots. We've got eight tomatoes? Right. It's starting to get dark right now. Which is good. We're about finished. Once we've watered these, I think we might go to sleep. We'll probably run out of energy after this. Uh, I'm going to have to fill up this water skin. And it's quite annoying because we've not got the well. So the quickest way to do it is going to the river. So when we can, we need to build a well straight away. Because that takes a long time to fill up, as you can see. It's not quite close, unless we like plant our crops here. So you're quite close to the water. But then you're quite far away from your house, so... We'll see. We'll have to manage. Luckily, we've not got that many seeds or crops just yet. But that should do. We've got a little bit of stamina, so what I can do... Is just knock a bit of these like stones and branches down. Get some resources. Clear up some space as well. It's just starting to get dark, so perfect timing. I forgot to give the meat to the wolf, so I'll have to do that tomorrow. But I'm going to put that stone chest down. And store away all my resources. Okay, so we've got no more stamina. We are done. So let me put this uh, stone chest down. You can actually put it on the end there. Nice. Oh, you don't have to have it on a grid. I love that. That's such a good feature, guys. You can actually hold control and move it wherever you like. Let's go. Dance, dance. <laughs> okay. Oh, we can paint it as well. We can change color of these. Look how awesome that is. So for now, let's just store away all of these. So you can press X and you'll transfer the whole stack. And this is going to be my resources. I think we're looking good, guys. Let's call this one a night, get some good sleep, and we'll have a fresh day tomorrow. Look, as you can see, brother and sister in bed. You can actually play co-op or multiplayer up to four people, four of you. And this is why there is four beds here. So if I'm playing with three of you guys, you've all got your own bed until we get our own house. Because this is just the one that we're staying in temp. So let's go to sleep. 
we'll take this bed down here and here we go so this is our contributions that we made today the whole clan contributes towards um obviously the clan not just us we actually contributed 137 points in total everybody else we had 1140 and this also gives us clan prosperity which is important you need to build that up in order to build and learn new things so these are both important and we're on spring two we've got 137 points hey we need 500 for the tool belt so we've got a, <laughs> a little bit to go but today is a special day because we've got our rite of passage so this is Vuak, the man behind the mask. When I first asked Patcher about this day, she called us to leave our whole dome. We traveled far, but she rewarded us with this safe and fruitful land. She has given us much. Today, we honor her with a promise. It's when our totems are ready to reveal themselves that we are asked to serve the land, the spirits, and our clan. Let us begin. Oh, look at Oka playing the drum. Yes. Iben, Fra, and Nock. How will you seal this promise? Okay, so Iben, with Patches Rocks, I've discovered the magic of sound. Today, I offer my first instrument. Okay. Oh, I love it. Iben, we've heard the roar of your music. The cave line is the spirit that protects you. So cool. Fur, the fisherman. It's in Patches Waters that I've learned to watch the mo movements of fish. Today, I offer the catch she gave me this morning. Fur. You've shown your patience on the riverbanks. The animal that protects you is the bear. Guys, I wonder what animal's gonna protect me. Knock, Pacha taught me the art of combining different ingredients to make something mouthwatering. So you're the chef? Today, I want to offer my best dish. Knock. I only know one creature that shares your passion for food. The wild boar protects you. I love it. It's our turn, guys. Sharky, how will you seal your promise? So here we go, guys. We can go with seeds that grow quickly. So I believe we get buffs here. So it's important what you choose. So we can either have our seeds grow quickly or a fish, so we get luck. A flower that blooms, so we gain friendship. A dish that gives us stamina for our day. What do we want? Friendship's quite good. It makes it easier to gain friendship. Stamina is good. These are all very important. Very, very important. So look at fishing, I'm not too bothered about. Friendship, I don't mind waiting for a second. It's gonna be stamina or crops growing quickly. I think we should get our crops growing quickly. It's gonna help us learn and, ex and get knowledge about these crops uh, and get new seeds and also get some good contribution points. So let's go with that. We are a farmer, of course, we love it here. Let's donate some seeds, let's offer them. Patcher admires your passion for plants. Your, pa your plants will now grow faster, come on. For generations, we've been guided by the spirits of animals. But long ago, when Pacha first plucked humanity from the stars, it was her ancient spirit who advised us. What animal are we? <gasps> okay. Sharky, that same spirit protects you now. The tree of Pacha. <gasps> Let's go. Whatever Pacha's plans are, you should know we are here with you. How awesome was that, guys? The rites of passage. We have now been guided by the spirit of nature, I believe, or the tree, the, the patcher tree. But now we can actually speak to all the people as well who have not spoke to yet. So we've got Jin. I guess there was something special about today. Uh, hypothetically, which would make better leader, a boar or a horse? I would say a horse. Exactly. A leader needs to move fast and look out for the group, like me. <laughs> Uh, is there anyone that we've not spoke to just yet? Um, I don't think we spoke to you. Grob, the clan's hunter. Oh, he's lost an eye. He must have uh, 
had a big battle with some kind of cave line or something. I'm not sure I like that patch as more plans for our clan. Aker. I think she looks cool as well. I don't know why Ivan was so nervous. She did great. Knock. I thought my totem was cool. Then I heard yours. You must be so excited. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And of course, Vuak. The clan's shaman and the reason the clan journeyed to this new land. Oh, there he is. We got the mask. Hey. An ancient spirit is a very powerful totem. I think I have a lot to meditate on. So I believe that is everyone right now. Like I said, there is a few other clans that will join you later on. Do you want to go back? Yeah, I think we're are we finished here? Uh, who do we need to speak to? Let's have a look. You always make me so proud. Oh, thank you. Chosen by Patcha herself. What an honor. So Patcha chose us. Yeah, I think we'll just walk away and leave. I don't think there's nothing else we can do. So let's go. That was exciting. Our first, basically, festival, kind of. Working together, you contributed free items. Yes, we did that task. We did indeed. Harvest crops, now we need to harvest four. We need to go and also talk to Tear. Uh, she wants to thank us for contributing to the clan. You offered some seeds, your totem was revealed. The patch of tree. Can we pick these mushrooms? Oh, we've got a red mushroom, guys. We've got a red mushroom. We're in the forest right now. And we are also here next to Tear, we need to speak to. I had an extra solar dryer. Oh. <gasps> Yes, let's go! We can start drying things. Love that from you. So everyone's still here, even though we kind of walked away. But we are in the forest, so let's take a good look around, guys, and see if we can find anything before we head back, because whilst we're here, it's good to, right? Oh, look, we've got some bunny rabbits. So you can tame and have pets. Uh, doesn't want to respond to you right now. Yeah, new idea. Approach the animals in the forest. Oh, we've got a new, a new thing to do. So we need to learn how we can tame those and make them friendly. We're going to discover that idea very soon. Oh, look at these. Oka's got an idea approached, how to approach the animals. Go and talk to her. Look, right now they're not happy. They don't want us to speak to them. What are these? Oh, we got some beans. Let's go. What kind of green beans. So we've got some seeds now. We can plant those. This is why it's important to come to the forest, guys. Should we go right to the top of the forest and see if we can find anything else? Are these like pine trees. We need a stronger axe in order to chop these trees down. Makes sense. Oh, this is some kind of fruit tree, but I don't think there's nothing on there yet. Another one up here as well. Right, I've got another red mushroom. Okay, I wonder what we can do with those. Let's go even higher. Let's go up to the top of the forest. Oh, are these more carrots? Yes, more seeds. I'll take that. There's another one here as well. Dotted around. It's gonna help us out. Let's go even further. I bet we can fish here. Can we actually fish? I don't think we can fish yet. We need shallow water because we've only got this little hand axe, like a little stone thing. Oh, look at that view, guys. I love how it moves the way you, as you go higher. Oh, what's these? <gasps> Quinoa? Look at that view. <gasps> what them as well? Rose hips. Ah, nice. Bet they're going to be used for some kind of medicine. Yeah, a tummy medicine herb. And then the red mushroom, sometimes edible. So it's like a gamble. You can either eat this and it'll give you five stamina or it'll take five off of you. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad. Oh, we've got a brown mushroom here. I'll keep hold of these. I'm pretty sure we'd need some of these for quests, so... I'll keep hold of them. Oh, underneath the waterfall. Look how pretty that is. Is there anything down here? No, I don't think so. Let's see if we can do some fishing. Can we actually do it yet? We can do some fishing, guys. In the shallow water, let's go. Our first proper time. So fishing, you just got to be patient. Highlight over them. Wait for the bar to fill up. If they get spooked, you need to move away from them. There we go. Our first fish. Oh, a hammer. Looks a bit like a shark. There's another one here. We've already discovered it, so you can see it right there. New record. Let's try and find a different one. Oh, that's another hammer. 
think they're all the same. Oh, he got spooked. Oh, this is different. Got four bars. What is this? Let's, well, let's move away. Let's be careful. I want to catch this one. Come on. <gasps> oh, a Lunas. That looks kind of creepy. I don't know what that is. A hey, prehistoric fish. <laughs> They're very quite uh, spooky looking. But eventually we can get kind of like a, a spear or some kind of harpoon. And I think he unlocks different kind of fish. Right, is there anything else we missed out? Oh, a big red mushroom right there. I'm going to make my way back down. The mines was up there, but I think we'll do that later on. <gasps> oh. They're not ready yet. Are these potatoes? Potato! Let's go! That's what we needed, guys. So as you can see, they do look a little bit different when you first find them. Because they, they're wild. They're not really developed. And the more knowledge you get with them, the more they start to become... Like, you know, they're like the modern potatoes that we are very familiar with nowadays. Things to change. I bet potatoes looked very different a long, long time ago. So we've got some good stuff here. We've got some fish. We've got some mushrooms. We've got some new seeds. Look at all the bunnies. Yeah, I think we've uh, had a good little day in there in the forest. Let's get back and maybe do some sewing with the stamina that we've got. Don't know what time it is, but it's definitely becoming late afternoon or kind of early evening. So we can actually do some fishing down this way as well because it's shallow. Let's see if we can catch different fish because we was in the forest. I kind of want to unlock them all. I do want to get every single fish. This is different. We've never discovered it. Let's, what is it? Oh, there we go. Porcupine. Oh, this is different too. What is this? Oh, we don't want to spook it. This is a big fish. This is a tricky one. What is that? Oh, a tic-tac. I've never caught that before. Oh, no, inventory is full. That is not good at all. Is that fish going to stay there? Let me have a little look. Because I can maybe give this to a wolf. Which I saw one down here somewhere. There it is. Let's give it to him. There we go. Nice. <gasps> we can pet him. Oh, he doesn't trust us yet. So this is called Scara or Scara. Lives with Oka. Can we go and pick our fish up now? We've got a space. Yes. That looks awesome. So now it's getting dark. So let's contribute all of this quickly. Is it worth putting... Yeah, it's probably worth putting the fish in there for now, right? I've got no smoker or anything like that. So I don't really know... What we need them for. But I'll keep hold of a few things. Have we watered those? They kind of look like we don't. We never did. Wow. That ain't good, is it? <laughs> oh, we got to fill up the watering thing. We're so far away. Oh, it's getting late as well. I believe you do pass out in this game as well. In fact, I know you do. It's happened to me. Oh! <laughs> A new idea. Not to the river again. Literally, what did I just say? It's so far away. So we're going to have a new idea now. I think it's for the well, which we need so bad. Ooh, more carrot seeds. Um, we're going to have to dig another row. We found a few seeds, right? We're going to have a big crop field here. So we actually got two more carrots. We got four beans. Some, uh, is that quinoa? Is that how you spell it? And potatoes! We're going to have to fill up this damn water skin as well. Ooh, can we do it in one more time? Or am I going to have to do another run? Hey, just think, guys. Back in the day, this is what they had to do. They didn't have anything like uh, sprinklers or hose pipes or watering cans. They had little skins and 
whatever they could find to fill up water from a river or a stream and carry it so far to where they needed it. I'm going to have to do another run. Please. Oh. <laughs> just. Just. Oh, wow. It's getting late. Okay, I know, I know, I know, I know. So we're going to keep hold of the mushrooms and the rose hips. But we have got a solar dryer. That's exciting, guys. So what can we actually put in there? Any fruit to, to make dried fruit. We can actually dry fish. I should have probably put one in there. You can dry anything, really, can't you? So it's fruit, meat, fish, tree fruit. And then you can do special squash and chilies. Right, let's go. Hold on. There's more seeds up here. Oh, God. We had even more. Yes, let's sleep. Oh, good contributions today. Um, we nearly had 200. So it tells you how much things are worth here. So the Tic Tac fish was 37 just alone. Very, very good. And more prosperity. Lovely. We're nearly on 500. I think maybe we should get the... Um, the new tool belt straight away. We've got quite a lot of tasks to do though. Shallow waters. We've got two new ideas. We've got to speak to Oka and Voda. So we're going to start, you know, developing the clan and getting some new things down. I think one of them is going to be the well. And then obviously we're going to get something which is going to help us tame and make animals and wild animals more friendly towards us. So that's going to be exciting, guys. But I think that's where episode one is going to end. That is the start of my new journey, my new playthrough in Roots of Pacha. If you want to see more, please do smash the like button and let me know down below. Let's see how well we can take this series and how far we can get. I'm so excited for this journey. I think it's going to be a very, very good time, very fun. And I can't wait to see how great this game gets the more you play. So subscribe if you want to see more of this. And if you haven't already, make sure you stay tuned for the next one. Thank you all for the support. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and stay cozy.